As Mako ran towards the sound of the explosion, he did a quick check to make sure he was wearing all the armor of God. <sighs> all right, shield of faith, helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, shoes, sword of the, where's my sword of the spirit? Where's my sword of the, oh, <laughs> there you are. <laughs> Ready to face any foe, Mako headed towards the town. Meanwhile, Miss Spoke and her minion watched everything from their cave at the top of the hill. <laughs> the plan is working perfectly! <laughs> now, let's review the steps to Mako's destruction. <laughs> One, confuse Mako. Two, lure Mako to our lair. And three, destroy him with his words! <laughs> Stop shaking, you worthless little rat! <laughs> of course Marco still has the armor, but we are not going to fight him, no! <laughs> we will simply trick him into using the wrong words, and he will destroy himself! <laughs> now quickly, disguise yourself! Marco, we're coming for you! <laughs> Unsuspecting of the danger that awaited him, Mako continued to make his way towards the town. The closer he got, the thicker the air became. Smoke was everywhere. Mako could hear the sounds of people screaming and shouting. It sounds like a giant argument. What could have happened? <coughs> help Mako, help us. Oh, look! <coughs> It's young Polo! Hello, young man! Are you okay? What can I do to help? There was an explosion in the village, and now everyone is fighting. That's terrible! Is anyone hurt? No, that's strange. No one was hurt, but everyone is insulting, lying, using the meanest word they know. You have to help us, Marco. <coughs> hmm, <coughs> that sounds familiar. <coughs> like the word bomb. The word bomb? Okay, Marco, you go back to the village. I will find out who is responsible for this and I will deal with them. Help us! <laughs> Help us! <laughs> hey, who are you? <laughs> I am, I mean, I am just a poor old lady visiting this town and, and this is my, my grandson. We were visiting when the explosion went off. <laughs> well, I am Marco, protector of this town. Oh, you must be so afraid. Well, really. You must be so confused. Oh, well. You must have no idea what to do. Do you, Marco? Do you know what to do? Uh, well, now that you mention it, I don't know what to do. I'm kind of confused. Mm. This is hopeless! Well, yeah, this is hopeless. This is the worst day ever. Why do I even bother trying to help? <sighs> As Mako spoke, the pathway around him became darker and darker. But Mako was so busy being sad that he didn't even notice what his words were doing. Perhaps we can help you. We saw the explosion come from the direction of that hilltop. Over there? Oh yes, maybe you should go check it out. What? <laughs> Marco's words have created a pathway right to my trap! <laughs> we should follow him. Quick minion! And we are coming, Marco, wait for us! <laughs> Down into the dark valley leading to the evil cave, Mako went, followed by Miss Spoke and her minion. Would he ever come out again? <laughs> <laughs>